Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Irene and I hope you're all having a lovely day. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about something so very important, which is slowing down, grounding yourselves, reconnecting with ourselves and mother nature, being creative, um, spending time outdoors, doing the things I like is part of it. I will also be giving some recommendations of books, activities, things that just inspire me, hoping that it inspires you too. Everything will be linked down in the description box if you're interested. I've been really trying to get back to myself and heal right now because ever since we came back from France where I had a terrible time, these last um, few years have been the worst years of my life I could say. Um, I'm trying to really get back to who I am and heal and I've always wanted to try slow living, living at my pace and simply reconnecting with how humans are supposed to, meant to, build to live. I hope that you enjoyed this video and get something out of it, even if it's a little thing you add to your daily life. I would love to also hear about what are your favorite um, practices to try and slow down and try and remember that you're a human being and you deserve gentleness. So one of the things I'm trying to do more of is reading. Actually, it's been a while I'm trying to read more and more. I used to be a really, really big reader when I was a child but then I kind of lost my habit. The audiobook that I've liked most this month has been Dalagut's Dream Department Store, which is a very lovely, colorful, creative book by a Korean writer um, who has imagined this world where people are able to go to a department store in their dreams. They are able to purchase dreams and sleep products such as magical pastries that helps them dream more or sleep better. It's just the story of the characters in this department store. It's really colorful and a happy story overall if you want to feel good and hear some interesting imaginative scenario. That was a, an audiobook and then I purchased two books that I'm currently reading. The first one is Anne of Green Gables. I watched the Netflix version of this called Anne with a Knee uh, last fall and I really liked it so I decided to give the book a try. A lot of you must already know what this book is about but basically Anne is an orphan girl who is adopted by uh, a brother and a sister in this beautiful countryside farm and she has lots of adventures and this is her life. The cover is so lovely and it makes you want to pick it up. I am one of those people who judges a book <laughs> by its cover so yeah. The second book is called Rosemary Gladstar's Medicinal Herbs, A Beginner's Guide and I'm trying to pick up new hobbies each season and spring is the season of gardening. We moved into our new home which has a garden and I'm really happy for the first time in my life to be able to garden. So I am really interested now in medicinal herbs. Rosemary Gladstar is one of the most influential herbalists out there. I wanted to learn about um, different weeds and herbs and what they do for us. I'm really uh, a firm believer in modern medicine and she even says that that this is a different kind of medicine and it's preventative helps take care of those not very serious problems you might have for example a cough a cold it's a good knowledge to have and for example ever since I've uh, gone vegan five years ago I've been sick way less because I'm eating so much better and um, I really see a difference so I truly believe that how we eat and preventing um, sickness by taking care of our health is very very important and this also brings us closer to how our medicine is actually made and where it comes from. Talking about plants and how I'm trying to learn new skills, as I mentioned I'm learning gardening, I knew absolutely nothing about gardening um, so I've started learning a lot from books and YouTube videos and just generally wherever I can find any information. We prepared our garden beds with our sweats and blood and tears it took so much effort but it was so worth it look at our garden now um, it was a wild jungle with like weeds everywhere but we found a very good soil underneath and started um, planting and sowing seeds and now everything is growing beautifully 
Taking care of the garden gives me so much purpose and a routine. It makes me also go out because sometimes um, due to autism and ADHD, I can feel sort of frozen and paralyzed in a way. Going out, touching soil, leaves and noticing what's all around me wakes me up and prepares me for the day, energizes me a lot. It's so exciting to wake up every day and wonder what differences are there today with the plants. One day they flower, one day there are new leaves, one day there are like pests that you need to, to take care of and just every single day there is something new going on. You can also see our first ever harvest of a little radish which is so cute. These are the pink ones but I also have seeds for colorful ones that I'm so excited to sow. I also have colorful carrots. Actually carrots used to be colorful um, but due to a king of England they wanted to celebrate him and popularize orange carrots and now a lot of people don't even know that other types of carrots existed um, and they all have different tastes so I'm so excited to try that. I have definitely gone overboard with the seeds but seeds cost so little and they're so fun to watch grow and I just decided to have this experience and live it fully and try to like grow as many of my favorite plants and vegetables as I can. So some of these are chamomile, cornflower, sweet peas, nasturtium and for the fall I'm also preparing a pumpkin patch with um, you know those Halloween pumpkins but also the small decorative pumpkins. I can't wait, it's gonna be adorable. I'm even making little crochet characters for the garden. I'm learning to crochet. I've always wanted to do crochet but I've been so scared of how to gauge but I realized that it's way easier than that in crochet. I just took some patterns on Etsy. I will link them down below. My first ever project were these little flowers um, but then I started doing some amigurumi. The first ones I made are these two little mushroom brothers Finn and Phil. Um, they are from an Etsy pattern that I followed that was so easy and fun to do and the result I think is really nice and cute. Um, it was honestly a great like effort towards result situation. So I totally recommend crocheting to everybody who likes doing some crafts by yourselves. I've started making a little fox as well and I will be doing some other characters too to um, adorn the garden with them. I'm also going to be sewing a scarecrow. Another thing I'm doing is trying to enjoy as much as possible every single day by going out and enjoying the outdoors. Even going to grab a cornetto and cappuccino at the bar is such a beautiful experience. It's a small thing that makes a huge effect in my day-to-day -day life. In this particular day you see on the screen we also went to the florist, fl florist <laughs> and picked up some pink flowers to match our kitchen. I also really love exploring new places as well as visiting places that I already know and love. I'm exploring more and more the town we moved into and also taking the train with the beautiful view of the spring and green lush trees to go to Rome and visit my favorite places, eat and walk and drink coffee and um, just visit the Trevi Fountain, the Colosseum, just there are infinite things to do in Rome and it's my favorite city ever so I never get bored. I think if you live in Rome a whole lifetime you still will not be able to visit everything. Another thing that I'm trying to do more of is taking the bunnies out. We have two bunnies and especially the brown one called Clementina. By the way the white one is called Pono and um, Clementina loves going to the window and looking out and she always wants to go out but we've always lived in apartments. Pona also absolutely loves going out but Clem especially is kind of old and I got her as a student and she's been through like every step of my life and I just want her to be very happy in her old age and for Pono to be able to jump and play as much as both of them as much as they want. So I really love taking them to the garden and seeing them enjoy and explore and play and be so happy. I try to make most of every single moment that I have with them. I truly love them so so much. We also love eating outside and even having tea outside. Um, we 
are trying to eat seasonally as well these days. Fall and spring are times of the year where I really want to cook and especially make sweet things more often. I love baking and making desserts this time of the year and one of my favorite recipes I learned recently is the vegan honey recipe which is made of um, some surprisingly simple ingredients. It's so easy to make but a lot of people who try it including myself couldn't believe just how similar it tasted to honey. If you're interested I will link the recipe down below but basically um, you infuse some sugar, apple juice and chamomile together. It's cheaper than as um, maple syrup and agave syrup that are really expensive here and um, actually taste better and easy to home make. I even took some to our neighbors because I thought it was a cute gift and they loved it. I'm also hoping that I will be able to make vegan honey infused with medicinal herbs for different purposes. I think that would be just very cool. In the spring I love wearing flowy dresses and just feel like a fairy princess. As a little girl I loved dressing up like many little girls. Feeling like as an adult I get to make this dream come true of my childhood self is a very nice feeling. So these are some of my favorite activities to do this time of year to slow down and I hope that you got some inspiration from it. I really hope that every human being gets to do that. I do realize that there is also a lot of privilege in being able to do that. I really truly from the bottom of my heart wish that one day everybody has the time and the possibility to actually be human. Until that time, let's try our best to continue these little practices and take care of yourselves. See you in the next video. Bye!